Hey YouTube, I figured I'd make a video on uh, how to clean your blow-off valve. This is the one reason why I wouldn't recommend installing a blow-off valve because it's such a pain in the ass to take out and then to clean. Turbo Smart says you have to clean it every six months, so I'm trying to stick to that. And uh, to do it, we gotta take out the intercooler. So, uh, and to do that, we gotta take off the skid plate that I have. You guys won't have to deal with this probably if you don't have this bumper. But, uh, yeah, let's get started. So I just took off my skid plate. Oh, there's just four screws. It's not too bad. It's a little heavy, but it's not too bad. So next up is taking out the intercooler. Let's go. All right, so to take out the intercooler, there is that bolt there. And there's a bolt on the other side, on that side of the plate. So there's four hoses. One, two, actually three hoses, sorry. And then the blow-off valve's up there. So here we got the intercooler blow-off valve. I don't know that one does. Look at the oil that's in there. It's not good. So I peel the catch cans. Alright, now let's clean this. Let's clean some more clean. And it tells you to use this oil. So you gotta clean the surface of that, and then you gotta clean inside the actual block valve. So there, and that's all you have to do. So the biggest pain in the ass is taking out the intercooler. I wish you could have access to it without having to take off all this stuff, but unfortunately that's not the case, so. Anyways, I didn't clean, I'm not gonna take a video on how to clean it because you look at Turbo Swarm's video about that. One last look at the intercooler for those who are interested. Again, look at all the oil that's built up in there. That is the reason why people put catch cans on there. I'm too lazy to buy one and put it on, so let's just hope this thing holds up on me. All right, so I got the cloth I've all cleaned up and put together. Just got to put the intercooler back on, uh, skid plate back on, and it's good to go. It's actually a lot quicker than I thought, but still a pain in the ass to do a five minute job to take off the intercooler and the skid plate and all that, but it's a fun noise, so I'll keep on doing it. Anyways, let's get back to the install.
All right, so I got the intercooler back on, and that is a huge pain in the ass. I cleaned my hands multiple times. And they look like that still. So next up is skid plate, and we are all done. Alright, so I just finished up. I have successfully taken out the skid plate, taken out the intercooler, did the quick five minute cleanup, and then had to put everything back together. So the actual cleaning process isn't hard, it's just getting to the blow off valve is the hard part. But uh, yeah, I was able to do it in an hour. I got the blow off valve. Uh, put together an hour when I first installed it so even the install is not too bad but that's that all right let's see if it starts all right look at that 